feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the okay, wall. Okay, before we get into this video, I just want to mention that if you hear any strange noises in the background, there is currently a full on storm slash hurricane slash tornado. I don't even know what's going on, but the wind is absolutely crazy today. I say today, it's been going on for like the last three days. And honestly, I feel like I've been finding myself waking up to darkness and going to sleep in darkness. There just hasn't seemed to be any sunlight for the longest time ever. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we're experiencing a storm here in the UK at the moment. But anyway, hello, hey, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to my channel and hello to a brand new video. Hope you're all doing good. Today I'm bringing you a super, super exciting video because I'm finally sharing with you my wardrobe transformation room. Wardrobe room transformation, that's the one. So if you've been with me for a while, you will know that last year I moved into this place and storage is a little bit limited. Like I do have, you might be able to see this wardrobe in the background. I do have that there and another one of them in the other room. So you're probably thinking that's plenty of space, but it's just not that organized inside. It's one of them wardrobes, you know, when you open that you just can't visualize and see any of your clothes, it's just, it's just not good guys. So yeah, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but like I said, priorities first, getting all my furniture and obviously all the rest of the house done. And I sort of told myself, as soon as I get all the basics done and I buy all the basics of the house, I can then move to things that are not as much of a priority. But I mean, it's still a priority because I need organization. Anyway, I really wanted to create a video on this because as you guys may already know if you follow me on Instagram, I did opt for the IKEA PAX wardrobe, which I feel like a lot of people uh, want to know things about and opt for because they're quite an affordable option in comparison to say, you know, ringing up a wardrobe fitter and getting all customized wardrobes. I mean, they can cost thousands and thousands of pounds. So the IKEA PAX wardrobes are definitely more of a budget friendly, affordable option. They can still add up they can still add up believe me they have a lot of optional extras that you can choose from but they can be affordable if you want to make them affordable so i'm going to talk to you about everything in this video hopefully i'm going to cover everything i want to cover sort of planning and designing your wardrobes to then obviously having them delivered building them yourself and then sort of show you a before and after as well so that is what i'm going to do i feel like when i went to get my wardrobes i just didn't have a clue where to start like, where do you start with building a PAX wardrobe? It, it was just a little bit overwhelming. So I'm just gonna talk you a little bit through what I did and how I started the journey of transforming that room. Because although you might just think it's common sense, oh, you just go and order them, there's actually a process to it. So let me just tell you. So the first thing you wanna do before you do anything, if you're thinking about getting wardrobe, is obviously measure your room. You need measurements. So obviously you wanna measure all the walls, the height. You wanna measure things like windows. You wanna measure outwards as well. You just wanna measure everywhere. So you need to get a good list of measurements. So that's the first thing I did. Now, if you guys are familiar with Ikea and the PAX wardrobes, you can actually go online and they have a design my Ikea PAX wardrobes, something along the lines of that. And you can basically design your wardrobes in sort of like 3D online. Now, I originally tried to do this at home, but honestly, I felt like it kept crashing all the time. It was being really slow. Um, and I was trying to build the whole, each side of the wardrobes in one room. You can't actually do that. I didn't realize this until I went into the store. You can put them in, but you then can't customize your wardrobes. So I ended up going in store. Now I would advise anybody that's thinking about getting the Ikea PAX wardrobes to obviously go in store to Ikea. I mean, not only can you see them and visualize them a little bit more better in store, but you can also speak to people there. So they actually have advisors on hand with the computers all out and you can sit with someone on the computer and they will obviously take control of the mouse and everything and design your wardrobe. Now, the good thing about that is that obviously it's less stressful. They do it day in, day out, so they know what they're doing. But the bad thing is I felt like I was being a little bit rushed. So although the actual shell was sort of what I wanted, I felt like I wanted to play around with it still. There's so much you can play around with the PAX wardrobe. So I sort of wanted to go away and just have a little mess around and do it myself. So that is what I ended up doing. I went into the store, um, I sat with one of the ladies there and we sort of went through my wardrobes. And like I said, you don't actually design both of your wardrobes. So let's say you're having one on this wall and let's say you have them on that wall. You don't actually design that in um, like one room when you get it up on your software. You would open a new design first and do one side and then save that design. And then you'd open another design and do the other side. 
if that makes sense. I am going to insert me and do a voiceover um, for the designing part and just show you how I did mine just to help you and just give you a little bit of clarity about that because it is a little bit confusing. So yeah, once I went in store, I felt a lot more positive and sort of knew what I wanted. I then went away with them plans because they print them off and there is a little digit. And then when you get home, you can then pop on your computer, type the little digit into the IKEA Packs wardrobe design thing and it will bring up the design that you did in store. So that's really good. Then when I got home, I was able to customise it further and just take away things that she'd done that I wasn't so keen on and, you know, add inserts like a jewellery insert, um, a glass drawer, whatever it may be. Yeah, that's what I did and that's just something I really wanted to mention. I really, really recommend just going in store and speaking to someone and getting them just to sit with you and design a wardrobe first and then go away, have a little think about it, play around at home, because like I said, once you have them designs there that they've done, it's just so much easier. Without further ado, I'm gonna jump on into the planning side now. So I'm just gonna go onto the IKEA website, go onto the PAX wardrobe planner, and show you how to plan and design your wardrobes. Okay, so first things first, you just wanna simply go onto the PAX planner. If you type it in Google, it will come up. And then you can either do a new design or open plan. So like I said, I went into the store and already had a plan designed in store. So they then give you a code, which you can then just simply enter in and it will bring your plan up. So this is what I'm going to do now. So this is my wardrobe design. I have actually already customised this. This was actually the final design that I went with um, and that is in my room currently. Um, but as you can see, if you just click on the shelves and the individual things um, you'll see prices on the right hand side so just be wary of that because the lady had put in a jewellery divider guys they worked out a 75 pound for a jewellery divider so I took that out and um, I had two sort of pull out drawers instead which worked out like 20 or 30 pound each which were a lot cheaper so yeah that is one good thing about the Pax wardrobes if you are mindful and have a budget to spend you can see the price tally up as you can see in the right hand top corner that is the final price and it does tell you individual prices for everything as well when you're adding them so yeah that's really really good I'm now going to show you how to just insert a frame if you're you know looking to do that it's really easy um I actually went wrong here and inserted the smaller ones there's two heights with the wardrobes there's 201 centimeters and 236 so I actually went with the larger ones just because I do have really, really tall ceilings. So yeah, all you simply do is click on the frame that you want, drag it onto the design board, and then you can go back to the main menu and start putting your interior accessories in. So like I said, if you want a rail, shelves, this is the fun part where you can really play around and design it to how you want it. Okay, and then once you're happy, you can obviously proceed to check out and then add it to your shopping bag. So if you wanted to then do another wall, because this was only one wall, you would then go back to the design process, design the other side of the wall and just repeat and then add to shopping bag and then you can pay for it all together and get it delivered. Okay, so that is the planning stage done. So hopefully you feel a little bit more clued up on that now. And you know, if you do wanna go away and plan some IKEA Pax wardrobes, you know, you're, you're up to scratch with that. So next stage is showing you the before. So I'm now gonna show you the before of my room and how it looks before we obviously revamped it. I was gonna say one thing, please don't judge. Honestly, the state of it before was hideous. But I feel like when you know you're getting your room done, you just don't really have that much motivation to keep it clean or tidy because I kept thinking, oh, I'm getting it done next week. Like it don't matter, I'll just use it as a dumping ground. So yeah, please don't judge me with the mess because I knew it was a temporary fixture. Um, so yeah, I'm now going to show you the before. And then I'm just going to go straight on in and show you the process of building the wardrobe. Because I know a few of you asked me, you know, are they hard to build? Are they easy? I would say they're not necessarily hard to build. You just definitely need two people. You need to allow yourself a good couple of days, I feel. It depends how much you've got. If you've only got like three packs wardrobes a day but we had six shelves to do and then obviously all the inserts so you're looking at a good couple of days unless you're like solidly solidly working on them um so yeah although they're not that hard to assemble they're very time consuming and also if you go wrong oh they can be so fiddly me and aaron went wrong a couple of times um and to get the screws out that we'd actually got stuck you needed pliers and we had to go to b and q and get the pliers so yeah it can be a nightmare if you go wrong 
in the wrong places um but yeah on the whole they're pretty easy to assemble don't go paying anyone um unless you know you've got stacks of money and you can just afford to go and pay people because i know it's so expensive because you have to have two people do it so you end up paying for two people to come and assemble your packed wardrobes so yeah i'm going to show you the process and yeah and the next time you're going to see me is when i show you the after um and the finished wardrobes okay so this is the current state of the spare room as you can see like it's not a bad size um i feel like you could probably fit a double bed in here if everything was out so it's probably yeah it's about a small double room i would say um but ugh, please excuse this it's just so much mess so currently i do have a wardrobe here but it's just absolutely rammed full Ooh, let me show you so I've just got so many coats stuck in there at the moment. And then I've got like blazers and suits there. And then I think there are cat beds up there. Bags there, pyjamas there, some more bags there. And then bits of makeup all down here and like straighteners and things. Then this is full of makeup. This is full of like beauty stuff. This is actually a garden set, um, which we didn't manage to assemble after our awful summer. We bought it for the summer, but we already had like our main garden set assembled so we just never got around to putting this up so yeah that's why that's still there and then i've just got rails of clothes clothes everywhere stuff from christmas that i've got in bags does anybody else after christmas just they don't like to unpack the christmas stuff it just makes them happy like going through their little bags of presents well is that just me anyway printer down there as a big bag of clothes i need to go through for like ebay and charity shop down there um and then this piece of gym equipment that Aaron bought, which he has never used. <laughs> you haven't ever used it, babe. But yeah, anyway, we're now gonna get rid of all of this stuff, give it a clean up, give it an organize, so we've got a blank canvas to work with. Um, and yeah, I'll come back and show the space of the room with it all clear. Okay, so the IKEA delivery has just turned up. I've never seen so many flat pack boxes ever. And um, they actually had to come around the back. And luckily, because I've got by folding doors, it was easy for them to bring these in. Me and Aaron are now tasked with assembling these. We've cleared, look at all that mess there. We've cleared a bit of the mess from here. Just got to clear up the last few bits. Um, so as you can see, the room is now taking shape and you can see how much room there actually is now. Like I said, it's not a big room, it's a small double. So yeah, just going to get these last bits out, give the floor a clean and then we can start assembling. Yay! So the moment you have all been waiting for is finally here, the big wardrobe transformation reveal. So please accept my apologies for the before clips because I know they were really sparse. I didn't have much of me assembling the wardrobes. I was going to show you how to assemble them, but to be honest with you, it's so lengthy to show you and explain to you. Um, and, you know, I mean, I'm not a flat pack expert, so... Yeah, just thought I'd leave that out, um, but it is really simple once you do study the sort of manual first. So definitely take time to watch a few YouTube videos, study the manual first, and also just make sure you have the correct tools. So you need screwdrivers, hammer. Also, one thing I would recommend getting is a thin pair of pliers. There's a lot of twist lock screws involved in the flat pack. What it is, once you tighten them, you can't actually get them out with the screwdriver. You can only get them out with pliers so yeah just have them on hand just in case you do go wrong because we went wrong a few times and honestly we was panicking we thought oh my god we've gone wrong we've wrecked it but yeah we googled it and if you get these little thin pliers you can take them out so that's just a little bit of advice i'm going to shut up and just show you how the wardrobe room is looking this isn't the completed wardrobe room i haven't filled it with the clothes yet i haven't got accessories and styled it and everything this is just merely the packed wardrobes assembled and where i'm at currently so so excited to show you so let's get in so in three two one Ta-da! Oh, where have 
have you come from, Boo? We've got an added bonus. We've got an appearance from Boo the Cat. But yeah, this is the opening of the wardrobe room. The opening. Anyone would think I'm like opening a brand new store or something. Yeah, this is what the wardrobe room looks like when you first open the door and come in. So let's show you around. Like I said, this isn't done yet. I've not completed it fully. Um, I've just temporarily put these little bits and bobs just here just to decorate it and just to get a sort of vision of how it is going to look. But yeah, I am going to go and get little bits for this. But anyway, before I do get into showing you a little bit more and around the wardrobe room itself, I just wanted to say that I did take some inspiration from an Instagram account called, I think her name is Scope Steak. I think that's right. Um, but basically she has the most insane house. So Instagram worthy, so beautiful. Um, and yeah, she has a lovely wardrobe room similar to this actually um, and it just gave me a lot of inspiration because her room on pictures looked a similar size to mine in that it wasn't massive so yeah it just enabled me to sort of visualize then how I could create mine with the little space. So for example, she actually had one of these little shelving units from Ikea. They're only 25 pounds, such a bargain. And that's what she used to create her sort of like little middle counter. So yeah, totally took inspiration from there. So just want to give credit where credit's due because yeah, she really helped me sort of visualize how I wanted mine. So yeah, right, let's show you around. So when you walk into the room, obviously these are fitted wardrobes that just come with the house and um, so I can't take these out I would love to take these out and have you know further space around here if I could take this out I would probably have had like a nice vanity station over here but unfortunately I can't so yeah as I showed you earlier this is just a wardrobe already here but I just don't like the inside I feel like it's so dark and just really hard to see everything in there so starting with the first packs wardrobe so as you can see i've gone for a larger one slightly smaller and then a smaller one right at the end so the first one we have gone with two drawers at the bottom and then instead of the jewelry divider that i was on about i went with these sliding trays instead because these were much cheaper i think these were like 25 pound maybe whereas the jewelry ones were like 75 so a massive difference and to be honest with you guys i don't wear a lot of jewelry so it wasn't really a necessity for me and then i got a glass shelf to go over the top just to make it look you know <laughs> really presentable and then if we just go up i've got a hanging rail here so a nice big hanging space there I'm really unsure about where to position what in this room. So as we go through, if anyone's got any ideas what I can hang where, then do let me know. So then we have a storage space at the top. Again, don't know what I'm gonna put there. And then we move on to potentially one of my favorite parts of the wardrobe, and it is my shoe wardrobe. I feel like I've been dreaming about this ever since I was a little girl. I feel like most girls always visualize that shoe wardrobe. I always think of that film 13 going on 30 where she walks into her walking wardrobe and sees all the shoes and it's just like a girl's heaven. So yeah, I was really keen to create that in here because as you can see, I do have quite a lot of shoes and um, they do need organizing. I've just sort of slotted them in there for now, but I am gonna have a good old organized. So yeah, I absolutely love this part of the wardrobe. And then if we move round to the last unit, um, just a slightly smaller unit again, gone with the two drawers, glass drawer at the top, and then just some shelving units here. So within this unit, I feel like I'm gonna put bags and accessories. I would have liked it all to have matched <laughs> um, and been symmetrical. I'm a bit picky like that. So if you look at the top ones, they do, you know, go level across, but they just weren't big enough to fit like big bags in. So I had to um, go a little bit bigger here. So yeah, a little bit picky, but you know. And um, so yeah, that's that unit. And then we have the windowsill. I need to put some nice glam stuff on there. Not too sure what I'm gonna do there at the moment. I've just put them pictures there, just like I said, to make do. I think I'm also gonna get maybe a blind and some nice curtains. I really want curtains in here. because I feel like curtains look like a lot more luxury than a blind, so. Yeah, gonna sort that out. And then if I just move on back, this is the right hand side of the room and these are the other packs wardrobes that I went for. So 
Like I said, I haven't completely finished yet. I still need to add in the light fittings because I'm having all lights in the wardrobes as well just for extra light because you can never have enough light. So on this side of the wall, I went for two large packs wardrobes and then a small one right at the end. So this one, I went for two rails. I just wanted rail space. Honestly, rail space is something I really lack in. So it was really important that I maximized rail space where I could. So I just thought, I'm gonna keep it simple, just two rails in this one. And then again, just a shelf that goes all the way across at the top. And then if we come into the middle wardrobe, we again have another shelf, another rail, and then matching on either side, a glass drawer, and then just two normal drawers. And then again, as you can see, just another rail there. So yeah, that is a rundown of the packs wardrobes that I have in here. Let me just stand out. And then as I mentioned at the beginning, this is simply just a 25 pound um, unit from Ikea. It's not It's not part of the packs range or anything. I think it's just called a, oh, guys, I really can't think of what it's called. Um, a shelving unit, that's what it's called, a shelving unit. But there is actually a name, so I will leave a link and the name in the description bar in case you wanna check it out. Because like I said, this was only 25 pound. 25 pounds so such a bargain and just the right size because i didn't want anything too big because i need to be able to open my drawers so as you can see that is just right um, and it's not cluttering up too much space i think i might get a little buffet as well just to go here maybe um just so i can have somewhere to sit down if i put shoes on and things yeah that is the finished wardrobe room well nearly finished um i just wanted to address pricing and how much it cost as well because i did have a load of questions asking how much it costs like i said at the beginning of the video it completely depends on what you add how you customize your own um and it really can vary you can make it as cheap affordable and expensive as you want it to be depending on what compartments you add what accessories you choose to go with etc um for me i've obviously had six big wardrobes um i've had some glass shelves i've obviously had them pull out drawers i think it came to just over a thousand pound which i know that sounds a lot but trust me if you paid someone to customize wardrobes like this you'd be looking at thousands more um so considering that I don't think it's that bad and I can also take them with me like I said they're not fitted either um, and I also will have lighting in them I think lighting for each one was like an extra 15 pound maybe so that really bought the price up as well so like I said it all just depends on your added extras I could have done it a lot cheaper if I'd have like not opted for like glass drawers and as many shelves there and things you could definitely have probably done this room for like 600 pound um but yeah I had my vision I really wanted to create it and yeah. So yeah, that is the packed wardrobe transformation done. I really, really hope you have enjoyed it and this video has given you a little bit more insight into packed wardrobes and the whole process. Um, I tried to make it as informative as possible, so I really hope it has been some use. Thank you so, so much for watching. We may be back for a full tour when it's all complete. Um, but until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.